what's up fellas, DIY fans. So today, I'm gonna start my final project for the bar, which is to install the kegerator. I already started the hole. I should have waited, but uh, because I have no room back here for a kegerator, which was by design, I'm going to install it on the wall instead. So I've already gone ahead and drilled the hole. And there's the unit. So that's going to go as such. I'm going to replace that black thing. Now, the question is, how do I keep it cold if it's not in the tower? So what I'm going to do is, the whole point of this video is to design a cooling tower system. So what we have is some ABS to run the cooling line through. So I will take you under the stairs. These are the general parts I'm going to use. This is the uh, rough sketch for the design. That's the, obviously the keg, kegerator the hole. So, the blower is going to go up and it's going to end out there. Hopefully the air recirculates back down and that would be the keg line. The tap's going to come out right about there. So far so good. So we'll take a walk. Behind is the storage area. So, and here's my kegerator. It's a Danby. We'll take you up to here. Now there's the shank through the wall. So the general idea is I'm going to create a pipe. It's going to go down to there. I'm going to seal it. I've already purchased a cooling tower fan. I was going to build my own, but Amazon had some good deals on one. So, once I fit the plumbing together, it's gonna route up there. That's about, I'd say two feet. And we'll see how it goes together. Here is what I'm gonna use to cool the beer line. So this is, um, they're meant for the beer tower, but people can use them in their line. I was gonna build my own. It's essentially just a box, a fan, and a tube, but this one was on Amazon. It wasn't very expensive, so I figured to save myself a couple bucks, um, or to save myself a bit of time, I'd spend a couple extra bucks and just buy this thing. So essentially what's gonna happen is the cold air goes in through here, up through the hose, and it'll come out in the line, and then hopefully recirculate back into the kegerator. Okay, so I've got the brackets ready to attach. What I did was put some bolts in there. And that is gonna go over top. This is the rubber gasket that came with it. The reason that I'm gonna use this and not um, the tower portion is because I want to be able to remove this so I can take it outside for summer parties. Now this is the wall portion, pretty much the same thing. It's going to go up there, and it's going to click on, and then the tubes are going to run. Pretty short run. Might be, eh, it might be three feet. So, this should be removable if I need to service it. So, a couple of bolts. Alright. Here's the cooler tower. It goes up. Apologize for the poor lighting, it's dark under here. So, this is the ABS. There's the ABS. It's got a rubber gasket to, rubber gasket to keep it tight. Cooler tower is gonna go up parallel to the beer line. And that's just uh, some foam that I have to keep it insulated. Make sure that uh, air doesn't escape through the end. And I'm gonna zip tie these two together then I'm going to install the tube and then we're going to insulate it. Here's the lines. I've got it positioned just at the back. 
so it's not quite touching. It's gonna go up there. Following this, it's cramped under here. Now, I know what you're thinking. You didn't put any glue on that, but I wanna be able to take this apart. Focus, I wanna be able to take this apart. Um, my plan is in the summer, I wanna wheel this outside, so I'll pull the bolts off and it should slide away from the wall fairly easily. And then I can bring it outside. I am gonna wrap it with some of this and I will duct tape it just for safekeepings. Test out the beer. Cheers. Chiller. Nice.